I am here with Clarence. Clarence, it's a Hi. pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. You you are a man, a legend, apparently, because you are a soft surgeon. Yes, thank you. Thank can you, you. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Where does the name come from? Oh, okay. Actually, um, I start my uh, character in well when I was around like 17, 18 years old. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. When I'm small, around like seven years old. When I'm young. When I'm kids. I already in love with guns. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. I start to uh, go to the hobby shop, you know, start working in a hobby shop and learn how to uh, uh, like fixing guns. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, I have my own brand. It's the airsoft version. I'm the founder of the Action Air IPSC. Yeah. I start 25 years ago, and uh, I start in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards. I promoted in Taiwan, in Thailand, Singapore, uh, Philippines, mm -hmm. Indonesia. Then the whole Asia is growing very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have their own clubs. They have their own. Their, they have their own match. Mm -hmm. So after I met Chris and uh, Nige, yeah, and we talk about like eight years, eight years before, mm -hmm. eight years ago, and uh, we talk about why don't we start. To promote in Europe. Yeah. So we start eight years ago. We start the first Airsoft Surgeon Champion European Championship uh, in UK here. So the first European Airsoft Surgeon match was here in the UK. As in the UK. Yes. So yes. Show, showing us some love as well. Then. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that is. So nowadays, uh, Airsoft Surgeon is not only the, the this annual match that gets run with right. with the help of Chris Kong. Yes. Um, but Airsoft Surgeon is also a uh, household name for top end, right? Hand built custom guns. Absolutely. And you've got a couple of them behind us. Let me show yeah, you. So, so let's, okay. talk, let's talk about the, the high cap first. So, All right. How do you feel? It feels great. So it's actually, it's got quite a lot of weight to it and it feels like the weight is in the front of the gun, not the back of the gun. Yes, and that's I, right. I know I did overhear you saying yesterday it's not a steel frame, it's a right. weighted barrel and all that kind of stuff. There's some, some really interesting right. stuff going on. But So whilst, so the gun I have here is a very cheap gun uh -huh. and it, it does me all right. But yes. Can you tell people the benefits of getting a high-end custom gun like this? Because okay. This gun, in normal retail, is... Um, one thousand four hundred pounds. So right. show special today for six hundred and fifty. Yes. That's right. But can you explain why we need, why these guns are so good, why people should be looking at upgrading mm -hmm. their kit to proper equipment like this? Okay, sure, I will. All right. First of all, we start from the slide. Okay, this slide is a CNC aluminium aircraft aluminium slide. After I build the slide, I. I do extra cuts. Mm -hmm. I do extra cuts by milling machine. All right, so you can have a space for you to cock the gun. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the extra, extra, extra service. If you want to have a good gun, all right, a good, a good gun. First of all, if the slide and the frame is loose, you can never have a good accuracy mm -hmm. because when you grip the when you grip the gun, the grip is correct, but your slide and barrel is moving left and right. Mm -hmm. So actually your grip is correct, but it's not the point that you want to shoot. Yeah. So now you can feel, now you try to feel yeah. it. So if I feel difference you, between, there is like no, there is, gap, there is no gap, gap wobble. No gap. And if I compare it to this gun here, which is a cheap off the shelf gun, it's, I can, well, you can see the movement in the Absolutely. slide on this gun. Absolutely. And now, Action Air is um, unique in some aspects because mm -hmm. of the number of different variables you have to take into account to get a reliable gun. Yes. You've got the temperature, pressure, all Absolutely. sorts of things like that. Yeah. Um, and most of these guns that you buy off the shelf, they're built to run on green gas with like very light BBs. Yeah. So in a competition, we use a heavier, heavier That's round. Right. With all the hand finishing that you've done, We've done milling, yep. shaping of shaping. the grip, rebuilt the internals, right. and the seracoting that you're all doing yourself yes. as well. As well. A lot of handwork goes into this gun. And I, I can understand the price point of £1,400. I know we have a Glock fan behind the camera. Yeah. So why don't we have a little chat about the Glock sure. here as well? Sure. 
I'm not normally a Glock shooter, so this is a, a Glock 34, 34 frame. Yes. So why are you using a Glock 34 frame over a Glock 17, which is going to be the most popular gun that people might get into airsoft with before they get into action air? Yeah. Um, actually, the 34 is slightly longer, the barrel, yeah. so you got more accuracy uh, with the standard class. You can use the 30, the maximum size for the standard class is a 34. Yeah. Uh, 34 size. So a lot of shooter, if you want to shoot with the standard class, they will pick up a two. Yeah, this is unlike any um, action air Glock I've ever picked up before. It's completely right. different. Completely so, different. Uh, are you doing all these lightning cuts and things on the slide yourself? Absolutely. So this is all custom work all again. All custom work. Definitely custom stippling. You can see that all over. And yeah. these beautiful CNC machine parts. Are these parts that you bought in and fitted, or you're making these yourself? Uh, this is the aftermarket parts. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, when if you if you want to build, you know, put uh, extra, uh, like aftermarket parts on the gun. Remember to fit perfectly, everything fit perfectly yeah. to make your trigger have a very smooth and light trigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is a thing that we see in, in lots and lots of guns, even mass produced guns nowadays. Yes. You fit an aftermarket part in there and people are upset that it doesn't drop in. But the reality is, things with tolerances and they need to Definitely. be hand, hand fitted. To hand work. fitted. So and again, this, yeah. this is an absolutely incredible looking gun. Um, yeah. I, I love this face plate you've got on the bottom there as well. Right. The Magwell. It's uh, I think Callum's a little jealous. <laughs> I mean, it is an absolutely beautiful looking gun. There is, there is no doubt you are a true airsoft surgeon. <laughs> thank you, thank this, you. These are some beautiful guns. Yes. We'll bring you in for a close up on some of those shortly. But yeah. Clarence, yeah. thank you very much. It's You're very welcome. Absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm, um, I'm so pleasure that you are here yeah. with us this thank year. You. I'm sure if we had more time, we'd uh, go to a corner and geek out some more about some of the technical aspects. But for the meantime, it's been Connors and Clarence with Gunner TV and yep. we hope to see you soon.